go. Hello, I'm Ashton. And I'm Ashton. And we're back with another reaction <laughs> video. In today's video, we're going to be reacting to... Kirby and the Forgotten Land, Dunk View. The channel is Video Game Donkey. If you want to see the video for yourself or support the channel, you can go and do that. The link's down below in the description. Yes, it's very important to support the channels that you love. Um, you guys can also help support our channel if you want to. If you click on that link down below in the description and throw down, throw down, throw down, throw down through Streamlabs, we're gonna let you pick on the next videos that we react to. Just keep it under ten. Include the videos, a link title, your email. I'm not actually Ashton, guys. I was just kidding. I think they know that. Follow me on Instagram, YouTube, the Instagram bio, uh, Snapchat, and also TikTok is Bad Ashton. I was confused for a second. I couldn't remember, but um, we need to add that on here and make these a little smaller. Or do something. Yeah, fix I could do this, that for you. We, yeah. could, we could work around that. I, I wish they were all the same thing, but I lost my Snapchat account, and so I I couldn't put you know the other name stuff. And in then there. um yeah, and then my TikTok. I had an old account named Ashton Summer, so I couldn't get on to that one. So yeah, like they're just all different. So sorry about that. Uh, have you ever played any Kirby games? I have not, actually. Let's see if this sounds fun. On the 64, I played one, and it was a blast. Really? It was so fun, because you had to eat people, and you ate them. You got to mix their abilities with the other people you ate. So you got to create all these different Dude, ways to play the game. Fun. It was dope. You really no liked doubt. it? It was good, like, yeah. Like, rate it 1 out of 10. It was a Mario-style game that beat out Mario. Because really? it gave it that dynamic, yes. It oh. was that fun. So is this, like, a new one, or what? This must be. I mean, look at these graphics. This has got to be at least the... The Wii U. Okay. When you think about it, Kirby is a lot is like Switch. He's a big fat guy that sucks up all of the food. But I gotta come clean. <gasps> this looks fun. I've never been a big fan of Kirby. What? How could you not? I know. Oh, I know. oh no. It's messed up to say I know. But with that Kirby, one. I've always been like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like new Kirby. Yeah. I've played and enjoyed some of them, but there was never one that really grabbed me. Where the I'm 64 people, one didn't? Gotta play this Kirby. And then Star Allies came out, and that one kind of poisoned me on the whole series. On that game, I cut all ties with Kirby, and I said never again. Never again will I play another Kirby video game. But then I played this new Kirby. Mm. And it was... This actually does look really fun to me. Like, I would be down to to get this game. Okay. The whichever one. I mean, I know there's multiples, so we'd have to find a good one. If the Forgotten Lands is the way to go, they must Kirby not be forgotten. It's typically very cheery and fluttery to the point where it can become overwhelming. Disneyland has a ride called It's a Small World. Some people love it. Some people hate it. I thought it was cool, but I would not want to stay on that ride for six hours. You know what I'm saying? However... When you drop this pink dancing ball of joy into a forgotten post-apocalyptic urban landscape, well, that is bizarre and exciting. You suck enemies up and take their powers. You fight a tree and a DVD and a Meta Knight and flap your arms when you miss a platform. But make no mistake, there is no mistaking this game for another Kirby title. For the first time in this 30-year-old franchise, we have a full-on 3D platformer in what an atmospheric setting to finally set Kirby. I like the way he's talking I about know. it. I know. Through abandoned buildings. Like, like, do you work for them? What's going on, man? I was just going to say <laughs> this voice is so bizarre, but you it a... gets the point across, you know? For real. On a strong current, tunneling under a fence, swerving through a racetrack, you even end up going to Disneyland. The platforming mechanics are not super in-depth but the level design is so condensed, most people won't notice. The combat, though, is surprisingly neat, and that is because Kirby is actually Elden Ring. You rescue Waddledees to build up your hub world where a blacksmith upgrades your weapons using a finite amount of stones. The late game bosses get insane, but you can use frost damage to knock a gigantic chunk of their health off. DDD even has the same exact move as Radagon, where he slams the ground. The adding this kind of long-term progression is funny. make your Kirby more powerful is something I never realized I wanted until I had it. Where Elden Ring slipped up, though, was not allowing the player to actually play as the Elden Ring. This is where Kirby takes things one step further with the Kirby. <laughs> Kirby eats a car, okay? So then you're a car. Kirby can be a vending machine and shoot Mountain Dew at people. What is Kirby happening? Can be a traffic this is kind of cool. Dude, it is. Stairs, yes. Stairs. He can be stairs. No. Transformations no. So I like it. <laughs> I want there to be a hundred of them. Oh, dude, this is insane. There's only about 12. There is a pretty lengthy post game, though, where you collect 180 fragments of a lion's soul, and then Kirby says... 
chaos. I did not expect to enjoy this as much as I did. Hail Labs has taken Kirby to the next level with a game that makes you want to go back and play every other Kirby. Okay. Okay. It's that good. actually looks fun. I want to try that. And it turns out Kirby is Elden Rings. Like it hands down. Okay. Okay. Got it. Cool. Yeah. Well, I didn't know that. I didn't know any of that. <laughs> I didn't like... know any of that either. <laughs> I like the 64 one. I thought it was a good game. Okay. Well. I'm gonna have to try it. Hell yeah. Guys, if you like that game, go check out the channel that is Video Game Donkey. The link will be down below in the description. It's important to support the channels you love, and we'll see you in the next video. Peace out, guys. See ya, what I wanna be ya.